throw their hearts out onto the pitch in about five seconds. We're ready to roll in three, two, one. Let's go. So as I was saying earlier on, I apologize. They've started a program at their school encouraging students to bring personal water bottles, to purchase eco-friendly and biodegradable products for lunches, and to remove styrofoam entirely from deliveries. They've provided market bags for families to shop with and have reduced single-use plastic grocery bags. So they're doing all of those simple decision-making things that Alvaro was referring to earlier in that home nation of Belize. Great job by them. Speaking of great jobs, a lot of these teams have decided to preload their robots with the macro and micro pollutants, and this is something that you are permitted to do in the competition right before the beginning of the match. Looks like the Blue Alliance over on the back side of the field was trying to hit some of those macro pollutants into the hub, being able to give them access to the human players to maybe load them later in the match. Red Alliance looks like they had that same idea trying to fill that. Looks like one of the Blue Alliance robots is flipped over at the moment. Speaking of that red and blue alliance, we've got Team Kazakhstan, the United Kingdom, and Finland squaring off against Sweden, Belize, and the Republic of Congo. I just love watching on the center field. I mean, it looks like it looks like it's elevated. It looks like you know it's the main focus of everything, which it 100% is. This robotics tournament is just amazing. They've put robotics on a pedestal. You know, it, there you have it. Yeah. We're starting to load up with the Queen robot right there. We just dumped that last micropollutant. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's almost like a supermarket sweep in that corner. Look at all those pollutants being loaded with one hand nonetheless. That's got some skill right there. That's hand-eye coordination. Yeah, it did take a minute 30 for them to get there, Ooh. but I mean, look at all these pollutants going in and they're gonna line themselves up with one swift movement. I'm sure they're gonna be able to score all of these. I was gonna say, that, robot, that robot's moving just as fast. Yeah. And that is the Team UK robot. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh my. Goodness gracious. Yeah, there's some mad points right there. I believe that was Team Kazakhstan that just loaded that up, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll find out in a second again. Mm -hmm. That score on the left side of your screen is starting to update itself. So they've taken over the lead as a result of that play right there. Yeah, kudos to the scorekeepers for having to count that after this match. Looks like their alliances are doing very well at scoring into that middle zone, the recycle, for three points each of those macros. I was going to say, you think we're doing some quick mental math up here. I can only imagine what it's like down there, especially on that field that everyone's so focused on. Meanwhile, the snowman from Finland right now trying to melt almost into that central barge as they're trying to lift their way up, trying to get as close as possible. And our last few seconds look like the Red Alliance robots. We'll see if they're counted in the air, but I think all three of them are up there. We'll see what the referees have to say as we come back with the score in a couple moments. Now, Sarah, so long as they are moving, as long as they're in the air, those points still count, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Yeah, so sometimes when they're programmed, you could program it in one swift movement. You press a button, and the robot will lift itself into the air, but that doesn't mean that the motor's shut off. It doesn't mean that the servos that they're using shut off.